perform a closed reduction of a fracture using the mini simulation arm and a fiberglass cast. Safety guidelines. Wearing surgical scrubs is optional but recommended. Don gloves. Wear a protective apron. You will need the following items which are all available in the apprentice doctor orthopedic kit. The fracture simulation mini arm. Stockinette. Orthopedic padding. A protective work surface cover. A disposable apron. Gloves. A pair of scissors. As well as a roll of fiberglass cast. Use the color of your choice. Fiberglass casts are not included in the kit and can be ordered from the Apprentice Doctor online shop. A suitably sized bowl filled with water at room temperature. And an assistant. Warning! Do not practice this project on a volunteer person, as the kit does not contain the required equipment for removing splints. Follow these steps. Gather all the required items. The arm must be clean and dry before starting the procedure. Don clean gloves and put on the protective disposable apron. Remove the outer paper from the fiberglass rolls. Cover the arm with a length of stockinette slightly longer than the arm. Ask the assistant to hold and stabilize the fractured arm in a reduced position. Gently roll two layers of orthopedic padding over the stockinette for protection. Do not apply the padding too tightly. Submerge the roll of fiberglass under the water and allow the fiberglass to soak up a sufficient amount of water. Then, give it a gentle squeeze to remove excess water. Unroll the plaster over the protective padding. Roll back the edge of the stockinette to ensure that the hard side edges of the cast are covered by the soft stockinette to minimize abrasive action of the cast on the adjacent skin. Mold the plaster splint according to the anatomical form of the limb. Allow the plaster to set. It takes about 10 to 20 minutes, depending on the temperature of the water used. Warmer water will accelerate the setting time. In a clinical setting, the attending medical professional will now give both oral and written instructions regarding follow-up dates, anticipated time for removal of the cast, instructions regarding restriction of activity and mobility, care for the extremity, care for the cast, and avoiding excess water on the cast. Once the cast is set and dry, you may ask all the members of the team to sign their names on the cast. To retrieve the mini arm for use in other projects, gently maneuver the arm by rotating it and then pushing it out of the cast while pulling it gently from the other side. Remove excess cotton wool padding that may have gotten stuck to the arm. Clean the mini arm with a damp cloth before replacing it in the kit.